Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Grizz, and you're here with me on Grizz Games, from Zero to Hero and Feria. Uh, today, we've moved from Zero, at like level 25, uh, rank 25, to doing okay, like rank 22, then we hit 20, and then now we're at 18, and we got ourselves a Pandora coin. So what we're going to do is we jump into this episode, so we're going to open a treasure chest, then we're going to jump into Pandora mode and just hammer that shit out, see if we can do anything interesting. And while we're playing this, I'm taking suggestions on cards and whatnot in the chat. Okay. Here we go. Let's open that chest. Never mind, we don't have a chest. I lied. Okay. <laughs> good start, good start. Okay. There we go. We're going into Pandora. All farm boys, 24-7. Okay. Mm. Interesting. So this is a production item that gives me one life every turn. I really do like the demon wing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go demon wing. So let's focus on sand. So this is like the draft mode in Hearthstone, essentially. Uh, but there's some interesting tidbits that they've added. Namely, uh, very special items that you draft every, like, fourth character or so uh, that do some really heavy shit. They're either legendary characters or uh, legendary, like, spells. And uh, once the game goes into Pandora mode, well, I'll explain, explain all that because it gets real crazy. Okay, um... Uh, this is really good. That's really good. Um, so, so far we're kind of splitting between stone and desert. Uh, just aside, we do actually want at least one, like, farm boy or something really cheap. So that we can control... <sighs> the Queen's Favorite is fucking dope. So is the Ogre. Oh! I love the Ogre. Um... Hmm... This guy will be useful for getting our ogre. Let's go a little safe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This kind of sucks. I mean, unless you just have, like, really expensive cards left over. I can't see how this... Oh, yeah, so this is arena. Okay, not draft mode. Yeah, we make a uh, deck to play with. Um, 30 cards, and then we just basically battle through. It's pretty fucking fun. It gives you lots of, you know, exploding rewards at the end of games and whatnot. So, you know, you got, like, the, the endorphins flooding your head. Okay. Um, let's go to this guy to pick up. Mana. Oh, wait, did it say can't harvest? Oh, balls. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, it's so good. The uh, discussion with uh, John Tron and Destiny. John Tron is a famous YouTuber, if you don't know of him, um, and so is Destiny. Destiny is a very interesting person who uh, was an edgelord, if you will, back when he played StarCraft II, like, four years ago or something like that. But over the years, he's uh, turned 180 degrees, like, he's used his intelligence to actually listen to other people, and now he's an incredibly cool, moderate, like, uh, egalitarian that, like, uh, does debates against people and he recently debated John Tron and if you haven't seen destiny debates John Tron Holy shit watch that. 
it's like two hours of one of the most famous YouTubers fucking just outing himself as a racist and <laughs> crashing and burning. It's good shit. All right. Um, let's see. And yeah, let's make it official, man. Grizz Games loves Destiny, doesn't currently love uh, John Tron. Thanks, John Tron. <laughs> Is a racist asshole that needs to work on some stuff. Okay, um. We gotta start a YouTube feud, you know? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, man, that sucks, dude. I mean, yeah, he makes really funny content. Like, I love Game Grumps and stuff. But I think it's easy to get seated in a belief, and then if you're in a little bubble, things can get bad for you. Especially if you're rich, like John Tron is. Fuck, what do I want? Um, these all suck. Okay, we can just do like a... Ah, uh, fuck, I'll go with that guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, Shaden Demon is very good. It really wants us to take this shimmering statue. Let's take it. So every time this guy attacks, he will do 3 damage to my opponent. And it works with my deck pretty well right now. Okay, so how are our costs? Got two pretty expensive guys. A decent amount of low expensive stuff. Um, let's see if we can get something tankier. Yeah, here we go. Ogre. Okay, yeah, so now we get to pick a legendary item. Um, when Pandora... Pandora mode arrives um, after everyone randomly draws, like, what is it, six Pandora chunks that are inserted into both of our decks. Pandora mode happens, which ups the amount of Faria we get per turn and also makes it so that we can use these items. Um, they're extremely OP by design. Like, this one gives you a whole nother turn. Jesus, that's crazy. Uh, this summons three, two, four haste yaks. Uh, and this lets you cast whatever treasure they cast two times. So do you want a whole turn? Do we want a bunch of haste damage? Ocarina is a win more card. Oh yeah, like if I'm already in the lead. Yakhorn could be a defensive and offensive. I'm in a shitty situation card. Iona's Mirror. It's probably just fucking good all around. Because I take whatever they did and do it twice. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Mirror. Let's see, do we have units that would actually um I think the axe grinder is real good. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that guy. Firebomb, hell yeah. Yeah, good call on the uh, Ocarina, or Ocarina. Um. This is, yeah, a win more card. Hmm. 
This is a... Uh, no. Let's go Red Devil. I do like the Lord of Terror. Whenever this guy, just like plant him next to your base or like in a group of enemies and he taunts them so they can't do anything but attack him. And when he takes damage and he has 10 damage or 10 health, he does 2 damage directly to the uh, other guy. To the other summoner or whatever the hell we call the <laughs> other guys. Hmm. Three damage to all enemy creatures. So I can board clear, I can or I can defend. Hmm. Go with Diablo? Alright. Diablo it is. We're going Diablo. Um Got the Mario plant here. I'm going to grab the Queen's favorite. I love that guy. Oh god, yeah, I'm the Battle Rager. Okay, so we've got some pretty expensive units here. Do we have what we need? Yeah, farm boy! Look at this fucking yak. It's a little, like, slug yak. Oh. <laughs> well, do uh, so a viewer shouted Diablo when we were picking those legendary cards, and I just went for the Diablo-looking one. But I feel that's going to be the way to go. This is looking like a pretty nice deck so far. Let's we'll see how far we, how much we fuck it up. Queen's Assassin. She has Death Touch, so if she fights anybody, they die. Diablo is the Lord of Terror. Is, isn't Mephisto the Lord of Terror? Or wait, Mephisto is the Lord of Destruction, isn't he? Or is Bale? Eh. <laughs> These are things we should know. As Diablo players. Okay, um... That's Bale? Okay. I'll screw you, man. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay. Um. Wow, another Battle Rager. Fuck it. Okay, now we've got... Death's Desire. Hot. Destroy a creature. Controller gains Faria equal to its... Oh, this is a free destroy. Oh, wow. So can I control my own creature, maybe? I bet I can. So I can destroy my own creature or one of theirs and get Feria equal to its cost and draw two cards. Get the Earthfire Shaker that gets super buffed up if he destroys a lot of enemies. Yeah, I'm liking the Earthfire Shaker. The card draw? Yeah, if some if I have an expensive creature that's about to die, I can just kill it, get everything back, and then draw two more cards. But doing two damage to all enemies on the board and gaining plus two, plus two for everyone that dies might be very nice as well. Hmm. Um... Hmm. I think this is a save my ass card. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess it would be good if... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it would be good to use on an opponent. Um... Let's do Rebel Slinger, do that free damage to the opponent. 
Can do famine again or an axe grunt. Ooh, definitely last nightmare. Get a free kill on a creature. So we can get a sweet ass range guy. Or we can get a guy that hurts clusters of enemies. Hmm. Okay, what do we have in terms of large damage creatures? We don't have much in terms of large damage. Uh, six, six, seven. Ah, uh, that's not bad, actually. Seven, seven. Okay, yeah. Let's go with the boulder thrower. I'd like another death touch. Oh, shit. There was an option for a protection card. Oh, uh, I need to read all the cards. Hmm. We're going Battle Ragers, man. Queen's Emissary. Yak Attack might be nice. If you were super desperate and could kill a creature and close the game out after, or you'd lose if the creature survived. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good call. Yax. So we can get a drain. Ooh, this destroy again. Hell yeah. Uh, let's get another taunt. Zealous Crusader is so good. Every time you attack a god, even if this guy is just in your deck and not even in your hand, um, he gains 1-1. One, one. Um, so by the time you deploy him, he's fucking like 8-8, eight, eight, no problem. And he has charge too. Okay, here we go. This is the last epic item. Jeweled Magpie, Flying Haste. Whenever this creature add, attacks a god, add a random treasure to your hand... That seems insane. Um, Doomsai. Destroy a creature, summon a 6 1 slaughtering shadow in its place. Hmm. I mean, even if this gets just one hit, that's very useful. But this is a destroy. Uh, charge 2 means uh, he can move two squares when I first play him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you think Doomsai, then? Tempo reversal. Okay. Just because that has a fancy term, I'm going to go with that shit. All right, here we go. So this is Grids Games, and we're going into our fucking Pandora experience. We've got a pretty magical blend, I'd say, of uh, yellow and red. Honestly, I would like to have this deck in normal play. It's kind of sweet. Yeah. Okay. I think it is insane. The um, So Doomsai, indeed, does seem pretty insane. Uh... The treasure items in this mode are supposed to be very, very good. Uh, 
I don't want to start with either of these. I can, I'm can. i okay with building up to that guy. Okay, there we go. Uh, this guy can't harvest Faria. That's a silly pickup on my part. So we're going to do a medium pace fight then. We're going to meet him on his side and try and work our way across with this guy. And the yaks. The yak attack. So we're going to start with... Whoa, that is almost... That was almost very bad. Okay. Um, let's see, he can one turn, two turns. One turn, okay. So I'm going to explore, and then I'm going to create two rocks and then pop them up, like, right there. Better draw well from here. What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mashumero87. This is uh, Feria. It is a mix of Hearthstone of a game called Duelist and Magic. So you've kind of got like your hexagonal gridding of like civilization or something, but uh, a lot of the gameplay of Hearthstone with just um, the strategy of actually moving your dudes around. It's kind of beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. Let's get him right up there. This is going to be a sweet assassination next round. Hold on to your tits, folks. We will see. Two health. Still going to die to this guy. Unless he puts a taunting unit right here. Son of a bitch. Okay. Good play. Good play. Good play. So we've collected two shards. When this meter fills up, all hell breaks loose. Okay, so... Oh, you know what would be fucking hilarious? We're just gonna put... <laughs> this... Okay. Sorry for shouting. Okay, so this guy taunts, which means his enemies are forced to attack it. And whenever he takes damage, he deals damage directly to their god. Um... So basically, let's go ahead and hit him there. So basically, unless he does something about this, this guy is going to end up doing 10 damage to his god. Just because I was able to get him right in his face. Okay. So we can safely start going sand... Get him down. Yeah, we need sand. Let's get it right there. Okay, this is a super aggressive game. Alright, um... This guy's flying, right? So... Let's put him there. And we're gonna have him bounce back and forth between these two and try and get us a lead in Feria. Uh, Feria is the mana you can collect from these wells. If we can get him going back and forth uh, on turns, that could put us at a pretty significant lead. I think he's just going to try and go kill me now. So... I am going to blast this guy when he gets close. Uh, in the meantime... Set up for some sc scary monsters here. Let's kill this taunting guy. Let's put you there. Mm. 
will stop him from summoning on this forest square right there. So if you're occupying one of the... Uh, if you're trying to summon a guy who's sand, like this guy is right here, you can see it says three sand. He has to actually be summoned on one of these sand blocks. If he wants to summon a forest guy to stop my little attack here, he has to um, summon it on this block. And since I'm blocking his block, he's blocked. That's how we do. All right. So we're going to go ahead and create our third sand. And where can we create it? You know, it'd be really cool if we did it here, maybe. Yeah, I think we might do that. So I can create one of my blocks here because my guy moved all the way up. I'm going to nuke him. And he's going to be real sad about it. I'm going to get this guy out of the way, I think. Hit him for five damage. And get this guy. Can I move him? Move. Can I move you? Oh, I already moved him. He's blocked on the block. Blocked life. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. I got the day nine emoticon. Day 9 TV, where we learn to be a better gamer. Love me some Sean Plot. The only pl person I've ever met in real life who made me, like, so flustered that I was, like, blushing and, like, gibbering and stuttering all over the place. Yeah. For the minion master shit. So what if uh, we got the crusader? That's pretty dope. Yeah, we're gonna move this up. We're gonna force him to do zero. No, <laughs> yeah. Force him to never die against this creature. And then we're just going to start shitting damage on this guy. Get the Crusader? No. We, yeah. Yeah, we can, actually. Crusader right there. And we're going to put a land right here so he can't build there. What land will we put down? Mm, we've got two rock, we've got three sand. Do I have anything that will ne necessitate more? Yeah, let's put another rock down. Because I want to be able to get one of these beefy guys out. Uh, actually, if I get this guy out right there, it's probably a GG. So he's going to try and race me to the finish, it looks like. Hmm. Aquatic jump. Let's uh, kill you. This is getting good. It's down to nine. We can go collect a little more. And let's, yeah, let's take this mana so next turn we get up to uh, Battle Rager. And I can just have him roam around my defensive area, and uh, all the damage he takes, it goes straight to his god, which is seems to be mind-blowingly OP. 
Greetings. Hello, friend. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, shit. Uh, I am an asshole. I forgot to hit end turn. Uh, oops. Fourth shard. All right. So how do we want to do this? Oh, final shard. It's time to get hardcore, boys. So, treasures are found in decks. Gain three extra fairy each turn. Wells are now empty. So these four wells will have nothing in them. And I will get the Psy. So how do I want to play that? Let's see. I might hold on to that, actually. Do my damage here. Um, play it a little safe and get my battle dude. And just have him rampage around the countryside doing battle things. And then, yeah, kind of got to stick him here. And just take the hit on that. Eventually wheedle that down. Okay. I'm curious to see which one he got. It's glowing right there. Something that's a blast, I'm sure. Interesting. Okay. I'm down with that. I'm just gonna kill it. Thank God for the choice on the Doom Psy. Uh, kudos to uh, Hank Hill for that help. Oh wait, actually I can just kill him by attacking him with this guy, can't I? And you are dead. Whoop. There we go. That's it, boys! And I think we had a lot of different ways we could have won that, actually. I am very satisfied with that. I am satisfied deep within my soul. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and we've done some progress on our quest. So one win! One win! If we get up to nine wins, something fucking crazy happens, apparently. We'll just never leave our computer tonight. For the sake of this Let's Play video, however, I'm going to play one more. And we're going to see if this holds up. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to keep this video going until we lose. That's how it's going to go. Is this the one true deck? Okay, um, so we got a statue with a taunt, it's pretty nice actually, yeah boy, <laughs> oh man, what if we just never lose again and I 
I die of thirst in this chair. Well, maybe I could ration out this water for a little bit and then maybe eat this hacky sack for nutrition. Yeah, okay. I think we'd be fine. Yo. Oh, pee is sterile. Okay, yeah, so I could drink my own pee, too. Yeah, I could go, like, 14 days later style, you know? I have my left arm trapped under my dog sitting on my lap. I can't move! Okay. So... Let's go stone. Let's start with the queen's, the queen's favorite. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 120, 127 hours later. Yeah. <laughs> 127 hours, the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes 28 days later the zombie movie with 127 hours, the movie about the guy who got trapped under a rock. A little bit different. A little bit different. But hey, that would be a killer uh, sequel to both, right? <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, what's the best dash for him? Yeah, let's threaten. And move you up one, because I can safely move you back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our movie references are so tight and so next level that they blend two, three, who knows how many titles into one sweet fucking story. Okay, so I can get a free kill on this guy. Um, or what if, what if I did something really hilarious and put down land here? Oh, I can't. Hmm. Bam, bam. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Kill. Kill and collect. Then taunt. <laughs> oh, this deck is hilarious. Okay, two shards found. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking filthy. Oh, God. Just disgusting. Just sick nasty. <laughs> Although I'm already at max life, so I don't know that that was really necessary at all. So, kill. <laughs> um, and just fucking <laughs> put this rock guy down. <laughs> uh, and... Maybe move him away. Now, let's do some damage to the face. I don't want him to die. I, I can make another one next turn. So I'm going to leave him here so he's safe for one turn. Filthy. Sick, nasty. Filthy. Filthy. All right, and back to the game. Whoops, okay, let's get rid of the chat bar. Yeah, okay. Oh, some things, should... oh, he just expelled my dude. Took him to school. Third shard found. Okay, so four damage to this guy. Oh, that only works on the very first ever damage? That makes me sad in my pants. Hmm. 
So we can do five total. Do a kill or a hit. Do two more damage to that guy. And yeah, you've got to die, friend. Shit. I don't know, maybe we can move you in and just use you as a threat. And then let's get some sand out. Gotta get that sand, yo. Okay. I wonder if this can do damage directly to the god. Oh. Oh. How about that? Slaughtering Shadow right there. Okay. Hmm. Um, so can that do damage? No, it can't do damage to a god. So let's hit him again. Let's put the queen's favorite right here. And... We could draw a card and strate strategically take our chances trying to get the Pandora going earlier. But then that means he has a chance to actually have it happen on his turn. So I'm going to take mana... Okay, yeah, so he didn't draw it. I assume you want to kill this guy. I mean, you should go ahead and just... Okay, there we go. And he should move him away, because he's going to get killed by my... Queen's dude ham here. While we do that, we will put down another sand, I think. Ooh, fourth shard, so I swear to God, if it happens on his term, turn. Uh, let's... So we do have to put it here. <laughs> this should be a little bit nasty. So kill, it should buff him up so that he doesn't die when attacked by that guy. Sick, all right. Final shard. Fuck, it happened on his turn. And we got the Earth Shaker. Okay. Or Earth Fire Shaker. Earth Shaker. Uh, we're playing Dota, boys. Alright, so he did Dijin's Lamp. What does that do? Choose a color. Add three random cards of that color to your hand. They cost three less. Woo! That's pretty gnarly. Okay. So we're going to firebomb him next. Get this guy stronger. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's not nice. Oh, that's got charge five. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so we can kill two cards with that, which will get him up to six six. And we will take another five damage. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's get this tile, this tile. Bring him down. Uh, get this guy to... Yeah. Okay. Up to six, six. He'll be able to get me to 10. This is a good game. He's ahead in terms of mana. And I think he's got one more card than me. Should he use the, that attack to kill the 5 damage guy? Oh yeah, probably. I... Probably should have. Good call. Let's see. What if... Deal four damage. Oh, I'm taunted. Get him taunted. Get the kill on this guy. Uh, and... Oh, shit. He's still going to be able to get another five. Uh, no, wait, no, he's not. That was lucky. Okay, so he's got three cards, eight mana, or feria. This is Harry. This is Harry. Good on him for a gnarly comeback. But yeah, so feedback. Uh, two turns ago, I should have used my attack to kill the guy who's doing five damage. And I could have prevented myself and taking quite this much okay so we're gonna have four mana oh six mana mm -hmm. kill the guy who's a seven this guy can only move one at a time. So his attack is not like completely imminent. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip this on its head a little bit. Move this guy over here so we can start threatening with a kill. Take this guy out. And he can either choose to move up. And if he brings out another dude here, I can taunt, hopefully delay my death by one more turn. It's going to be real close. Just depends on if he plays offensive or offensively or defensively. I could only... So if I do Yak Attack next turn, I can create three Yaks. One, two, three. And they all have haste, so I can attack right away. But I'd only be able to use the one over here. Okay, we got a 5-4 and a 4-3. But 
but I can't even use Yak Attack. That's not good. So I'm looking at my death here. I will take 11 damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want my mic sound up or my desktop, desktop sound up? Uh, Owello. Okay, yeah, I'll add you. Welcome to the channel, Owello. How do we want to do this? Get our Battle Rager out. I will survive with... Mm. Yeah, I think I can survive with one health here. If I get him out... Move him there. And just fucking pray. <laughs> if I win this with one health, I'm going to be a very happy man. But if he's got a buff that gives him one more damage, I'm dead. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. This is a hasted. This is going to be real close. Uh, I th think I've got the win here, though. So, five damage to him. Let's think this out. No, I don't, actually. So I can taunt. No, I think I just lost. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the feedback, man. Yeah. Um, I will definitely turn up the mic here after this. Do you think like another 20% or what? Fuck, how am I going to do this? I don't think I can. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Nope. Oh. If we put this here, get our axe grinder up, taunt, hit him. get him to 5 health. I can destroy a creature. Oh my god, if I get the Psy, psy on this guy, I'm going to piss my pants with glee. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Let's think about this. Oh, wait. No, I think we just lost. They killed both of them? Fuck. So close. That was such a close game. Well played. Um, damn, I was hoping those two guys were going to be able to stop him. I don't know how they actually died, even. Like, all three of them? Huh. Hmm... Well, let's fucking draw a card. Yep. That's it, friends.
and if he had haste or something. Yeah, or if I had been able to summon the uh, yaks. Okay, yeah, surrender. All right, so that's the end of uh, this YouTube video. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe, or dislike if you don't. Um, it really helps me out, lets me know what you guys want. Uh, want more of, want less of, etc. Like I just got some feedback. Turn off my, uh, turn up my microphone a little bit, and I heart that shit. Thank you so much. Um, if you're on Twitch, give me a follow so I can keep hanging out with you guys, get this community going. I am going to go ahead and stop the YouTube video here. Um, take care of some stuff around the house, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm Grizz, and good night to all you beautiful grizzly bears, grizzly mamas, MLG players, artists, fucking musicians, hipsters, friends, all you. You guys stay. You stay beautiful.